Sculpting Overview. So Mudbox sculpts on virtual 3D surfaces. So we mimic real 3D objects with this virtual clay. So instead of using real clay, we are creating virtual surfaces with these polygons. And so these polygons uh, are known as polygonal meshes. And Mudbox works using these polygons as our underlying surface. And this is what we use to develop our 3D content for animated effects in our video games, in our films, our commercials, our digital prototypes for industrial design, uh, for conceptual modeling and architecture. So it's virtually any 3D content in the internet. A polygon, you see all these polygons here are set up so they are um, they have these these polygon meshes now the corner of the mesh right here um, and here let me let me make this a little bit smaller here so there so when we're looking at the corner right here of a mesh that's called the vertex the line between a vertex and a vertex is the edge. And then in the middle of this thing, so I'll zoom in on it right here. So here's a vertex, here's a vertex, here's a vertex, here's a vertex. The line in between are called edges. And the area in the middle is called a face. Now typically polygons are constructed of either three-sided polygons four-sided polygons like you see right here, or five solid polygons. So when we connect all these faces together, they make a network of all these faces, which is called a polygonal mesh. All right, And these polygon meshes then uh, can be created in all kinds of 3D software applications such as 3ds Max and Maya, etc. So this is what we call digital clay is these polygon meshes and when we sculpt on these particular items uh, we are applying the sculpting tool we are repositioning the vertexes in that area thus we change the 3d form so here i have um i'll, I'll make this a little bit bigger here so when i stroke across it we are changing the vertexes of these items. And so when the vertexes change, <clears throat> those vertexes then represent a new 3D form. Now, these polygonal faces actually reflect light and color and shading back to our eyes. And so that's what it, the form appears that way we can change the density of these polygon meshes uh, so we can have it more uh, more fine detail with smaller density of so there these are smaller will give us more fine detail or they can be larger so in order to increase the, the detail we increase the number of polygons by subdividing so we're going to break up this current four-sided polygon, we're going to bust it up into essentially half. And we're going to double, well actually we're going to multiply it by a factor of four, sorry. So we're going to increase each square will be four times as many of these polygons when we subdivide it. So the basics of sculpting is starts with this digital clay which is made out of polygonal meshes.